Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, back with another reaction. Um, so I woke up this morning and found out that Disney Plus had just posted a preview video of what to expect from the streaming service in 2025, and it includes an Andor teaser and some new Skeleton Crew footage. So I'm very excited to watch this thing. Without further ado, let's do it! I got something coming up, something kind of big. It just feels like the one. Let's go. Worth it. Excellent. Sometimes your work family is closer to you than your family family. I never watched this the bear. This could be a real adventure. A crew of murderous pirates. Ah, that's gonna be so fun. There's Vane. Oh, new shot to the ship. Found the president lying next to his bed. Did you kill him? I have one rule. Stay out of the basement. Oh, more ghost bumps. Okay. This ship collected specimens. Can't wait for alien. Far away moon. Arts desk. I want to build something iconic. How far Ooh. are you willing to go? Get what you want. It's like an Iron Man type thing. Okay. By the look of it, you've come up in the world. I wonder if your darker half would agree. What's up? It's Russ Holiday, former quarterback. But I'm not done with football. You get to decide who you are. My name's Chad Powers. Your family was fostering a little girl. We're supposed to be on the same team. Do that. We are on the same team. She's not who she says she is. Is there no one who can help us? We need a pilot. Fix. You're thinking like a thing. Oh my God, he's in a tie fighter. Like a what are we doing? Think like a leader. Oh, that jacket looks good. It's about to happen. That's it. That's all we get. Oh, come on. <laughs> this world. Everything's changed. K2SO, let's go! Yes! Oh, I can't wait for him to come back in this season. Oh, Alan Tudyk is confirmed coming back. We're going to get that whole backstory. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, man, there's there's a lot of shows out there these days, and I haven't seen, like, any of them, really. I watch my Star Wars, because I love my Star Wars, but, like, I don't do a whole lot of, like, show watching outside of that these days. I don't know. I, I, I always used to. I guess I'm just busy these days. That little 10 seconds of Andor was great, though. I want to try and find that and rewatch that again. Let's go. Is there no one who can help us? That's a massive protest. Maybe it's the Gorman Massacre, because we know that that's going to happen in this timeline. Causing Mon Mothma to flee the Empire, and that's when she gets brought into Rebels. We need a pilot. I'm so glad that Bix is back as well, also. Loved her in Season 1, and I'm glad that it seems like she's recovering from the Imperial torture a little bit here. You're thinking like it's... That's a sweet looking TIE fighter, actually. That's a very, it's a unique looking, it's an interceptor, first of all. But the cockpit's a little bit different. I'm wondering if maybe it's like just partially assembled, like he's stealing it from a factory, maybe? I wonder what they need a pilot for. And does this mean that Bix is now officially part of the rebellion if she's out here recruiting a pilot? You're thinking like a thief. I'm thinking like a soldier. Think like a leader. He's thinking like a soldier. Luthen says, think like a leader. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Also, his jacket right here is like, it's like a black leather version of uh, Poe Dameron's jacket. You know, Finn's jacket from the, the sequels. That's such a good look. Man, they've got this guy dressed in some of the best costumes we've ever seen in Star Wars. Like, his drip is just on point. And then eventually we get to Rogue One and he's just like wearing fatigues. Like, he started off a lot more like vibrant and then they've sort of toned him down into like... You know, when we meet him in Rebel, in Rogue One, he's just, like, another Rebel operative. But he really, the, the, one of the cool things the show has done is really made him his own person outside of that. Like, it's a weird thing to think about a character stepping out from his own shadow, you know? But, like, they're giving us reasons to love and appreciate Cassian Andor to, outside of what he does in Rogue One, you know? Think like a leader. The final shot of this little teaser right here. We've got Bix and two others standing in, like... I don't know. It looks like the the fields of Elysium, doesn't it? And the first planet that comes to mind in Star Wars that we've seen with this would be, well, it would be Lothal, wouldn't it? From Rebels. I don't think that's what's happening here, though. This has got to be a brand new location. Andor has kind of tried to keep it 
self-contained in terms of we don't go to a whole lot of legacy planets for the sake of Easter eggs. Like Coruscant is kind of necessary for the story that they're telling. But I don't expect to like go to Lothal or like bump into Ezra or Harrison Dula or anything on that level. Like we're going to get smaller references. I was talking with Bendu um, on the podcast just last night about this and getting Mon Mothma in the show, the events of the Gorman massacre, knowing that that's when she tries to defect and I don't think that we're going to see the Rebels crew in this show, but I think that we may see like Dutch Vander, like Gold Leader, and uh, the rest of Her of Mo and the rest of uh, Mon Mothma's escort that that deliver her to the Ghost crew in that episode of Rebels. So we might get that, and that would be pretty cool to get to see Gold Leader on screen. I th I think that would be my my somewhat safe prediction if we're getting any sort of a cameo in her storyline. Yeah, this looks awesome. I can't wait for Andor, and I can't wait for a proper trailer, because as, as nice as this was, it was sandwiched in between a bunch of other shows that I don't really care about, and I want to be able to focus completely on Andor, and I want to get more than 10 seconds in my teaser, please. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, we got our release date. Yes, it premieres April 2025. Uh, when this show comes out, I will be in Japan for Star Wars Celebration. And uh, we're going to have to figure out what the reaction situation looks like. I know that a couple of my good friends are going to be meeting me over there. So maybe we can do a group reaction. Um, either way, you can stay tuned for reactions to Andor Season 2 right here on the YouTube channel. And full-length uncut versions will be available on Patreon. Um, so I can't wait to share those reactions with everyone. And to watch Season 2 alongside everyone else. Like This, this is going to be a very timely piece of media. And I think it's going to resonate with people in, in a big way. With everything going on in the world. More so than season one did, potentially. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to take a quick glance at here is the new skeleton crew footage that we've also got. So let's take a whirl here. This could be a real adventure. A crew of murderous pirates is coming. Yeah, that looks good. I can't wait. I love that we're getting a little bit more pirate emphasis in this. We've got a shot of Vane. We've got a new shot of Brutus that we haven't seen before, standing on the dock looking like a badass. And and this shot right here where Jod is talking about the crew of murderous pirates coming for you, is it the same shot just reversed from the other trailer? Or is it new footage and they're just... I feel like the last time we saw this shot, he crossed from left to right, and now he's crossing from right to left. So is it just flipped footage? Is it a different take? Does he say it twice in the scene? I don't know. You can never tell with trailers, right? They always kind of they work some movie magic in there, making the footage work. So I don't really know what to make of that. What I do know is that I'm extremely excited for Skeleton Crew. And it kind of cracks me up that, like, <laughs> we have such an abrupt tonal shift here from Skeleton Crew and Andor. Very different stories with very different messages. And dare I say, for very different audiences, too. Um, I, however, am one of the people that find myself right in the middle and am going to enjoy the hell out of both of them. Like, honestly. For very, very different reasons, right? For very separate reasons, but I feel like there's a lot to be gained from both of these projects. As for the rest of this Disney Plus stuff, I don't know. I have no opinion about most of it. Alien Earth. That's Noah Hawley's new um, Alien TV show. I'm, I'm very excited for that, but I know virtually nothing about it. And I'm kind of doing that on purpose. I'm keeping myself in the dark because... Well, you know, that's the best way to watch anything horror-related is is without that context. I'm also working my way through the Alien movies and doing reactions on, on my other channel right now. So we'll be reacting to that too, but that'll be a Grizzled Wizard situation. Uh, more about that later. Goosebumps The Vanishing. I did watch the first part of Goosebumps. I thought Justin Long was fantastic in that. He really understood the assignment. It was, like, so campy. Um, so I'll probably will watch the next season of Goosebumps. Don't know about The Bear. Don't know about Paradise. Don't know about Daredevil. Chad Powers. Good American Family, Handmaiden's Tale, Percy Jackson. I'm not super interested in a lot of these shows, but I think part of the problem there is that Star Wars takes up so much space in my brain. You know, all my attention is going to Star Wars right now. And with two shows on the horizon, like it's all hands on deck right now. I can't wait though. I will be reacting to both shows. Uh, let me know in a comment what you think. Are you hyped for Skeleton Crew? Are you hyped for Andor Season 2? How are you feeling about it? How have the um, previous Star Wars Disney Plus shows tempered your expectations? You know, has that made an impact on your level of excitement? I want to hear from you guys. So please weigh in in the comments below and let me know how you're feeling about these teasers. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the Disney Plus Coming Soon 2025 trailer. I suppose is really what this was. But in effect, to the Andor Season 2 and Skeleton Crew, new footage found therein. Um... 
yeah, these shows can't get here fast enough. I think that I'm not the only person who's like desperate for a Star Wars fix these days. I guess we'll have to wait and see. They're coming up quick. Uh, December 3rd is almost here, and that's going to be Skeleton Crew. So we only have to wait a little bit longer. Check out the rest of the channel for more content reactions and reviews. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.